Over the last 10 years, the Department of Radiology at the University of Florida College of Medicine has conducted a simulation-based evaluation of radiology resident competence in critical care imaging. 351 residents interpreted this case of small bowel active hemorrhage as one of 65 cases during an 8-hour simulated on-call shift, with a median score of 3 out of 10 and an overall average score of 3.95 out of 10. On average, 5.78 points out of 10 were lost due to missed observations. At the same time, 0.16 points were lost due to interpretive errors. We define an effective report to be one which achieves scores between 7 and 10. In terms of letter grades, this would be an A or a B. In this most missed case, 40% of residents produced effective reports. We define a report having a critical error to be one with scores between 0 and 2. In terms of letter grades, this would be a D or an F. In this most missed case, 47% of residents produced reports with critical errors. This case involves a 72-year-old female with a history of fatigue and anemia. We've performed an acute GI bleed study, which includes imaging in a non-contrast, a arterial, and a venous phase. When you scroll through these images, I've linked them to allow you to see the um, areas a little bit easier. Together, when you go through the bowel, you want to evaluate for any signs of active bleeding. And as we go through this, if you look in the left lower quadrant in this loop of small bowel, you'll see some active bleeding here. There's no associated um, high-density material here, which again confirms active contrast. And then when you look on a delayed phase, it actually pools in there. So this is a um, active GI bleed. Um, incidental findings, you'll see there's some um, probably inflammatory lymph nodes in the left inguinal region. Um, the solid organs, there are some simple appearing cysts. The right kidney is surgically absent. You'll see a, uh, a two and a half centimeter nodule in the left adrenal gland, which on non-contrasted imaging measures higher than would be expected for an adenoma. Um, this would require further follow-up with either a CT or an MR utilizing a an adrenal mass protocol. Incidental note is also made of a perfusional defect in the left lobe of the liver. Um, so overall, the findings would be active GI bleeding um, with incidental note of made of a left inguinal lymphadenopathy and a right adrenal nodule. This would be an urgent um, case requiring um, verbal communication with the ordering team.